Videoscopes for November 2013. This is going to be for Capricorn and what we'll be focusing on as the overview this month in November will be the new moon eclipse on the 3rd of November, Uranus squares Pluto and this is going to be the fourth time it squares Pluto in a series of seven so until we reach that I think it's about 2015 you know this one's a very what I call a serious one that's taking place so again November will be a real game changer we'll be looking at Mercury turning direct on the 10th yay <laughs> but Mercury retrograde have their pluses they help us go back we think release um, we sort out we edit we do our lives so everything has its natural cause Jupiter turns retrograde on the 7th though I believe it's already slowing down and getting stationary now and we have Neptune turning direct on the 13th of November and the shadow retrograde doesn't leave us till the 27th of November so it's a very busy month. Be careful in relationships to any of you male or female watching the video scopes. At the end of the day if you meet someone in the retrograde there's a saying that they're gone after the retrograde so try and slow things down and get to know someone if you're looking at relationships if they're from your past and you already know them then that's that's a little bit of a different concept but the retrograde will take you back thinking past dreams past people past school friends just popping up or greeting and meeting people from the past so you know november december will be key months as i said in the other videos if you're looking at relationships or business partners who you meet and greet in november december and get to know and sort things out you have the ability to lead this year in a key relationship for a lot of you um a lot of the energies based around november are there's a lot of capricorn energy as well we're in the scorpio field which is your reproductive systems your finances power manipulation you've got to decide one of those categories that you're dealing with or trying to get away from Finances could be a divorce, taking the power back, taking it forwards, moving forwards in your life, sorting out the, 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 the finances. Maybe it's the power or gaining the power back from an old relationship or your ex-wife or ex-partner in some way. So something in some realm will pay out. Reproductive needs can mean for females, IVF, issues with the reproductive system you know there's a lot of health energies going out out there at the moment and Virgo is Virgo's in Mars Virgo rules your health and it can mean your bowel area stomach so operations hospitals a lot of us have had dental appointments hospitals illnesses that's passed us by around August September what we're going into now is a real time of getting our lives sorted getting your SHIT together as people would say it's about you being able to deal with things within your life Capricorn you're very practical people you're very funny people you like your own space at times and what you're going to be going through the Scorpio around death and rebirth so it's ending things in order to open new starts and unfortunately with eclipses it can mean people in this realm or this world that are on the near edge of their lives and maybe passing on I kind of think with all the eclipses for two years in Taurus Scorpio that there will be a lot of passing or people that have been ill that won't last the test of time possibly the end of 2014 but getting back to your video scope for November for Capricorn Uranus squares Pluto on November the 1st in your fourth house um, you know in that series of seven so if when Capricorn this is your fourth time that Uranus has squared this particular fourth house of yours this is about your emotional foundations fourth house is about family house home personal expressions your appearance so you'll be dealing a lot with home life and how you look so how have you used your strength ability your willpower your emotional state of mind or security and values you're going to be looking at a deeper side of your emotional energy and your own security needs 
this will be a time for Capricorns when you will feel like you hold or have to hold the power back in your life um, you know rather than putting things out there I've got a sense of you holding back a little bit the new moon eclipse which is conjunct Saturn Saturn is about you learning things it's your taskmaster the new moon falls in your 11th house this month which holds the power of Scorpio um, is the 11th house so the, and the strength of Saturn Saturn is your ruler so if for anybody out there um, as much as we all don't like Saturn or kind of think boo to Saturn because it's the taskmaster Capricorns will be more balanced in that area because it's your ruler so you should feel a little bit more comfortable with the energies than any of the other signs so take advantage if you like Capricorns and take the opportunity to socialize you enjoy being around people um, Capricorns have the ability to help and achieve and get to their goals they like to achieve goals in more ways than one so you might feel as if you're pushed to achieve those goals a little bit more than most within the month of November Mercury turns direct Woohoo! I always say to that because again it opens the floodgates for the communication so you'll feel the power on you being able to concentrate more being able to focus um, being able to express that communication in a more clear-minded way so that any misunderstandings or miscommunication will start to get back on track again this is the chance to find that new direction for Capricorns in any groups of business situations it's a personal growth level for many Capricorns so to grow within your soul you have to find your way sometimes in life and sometimes it can mean leaving a relationship to grow and maybe come back to it but this is your chance to find that new direction as to where you're going to within your life Jupiter turning direct Jupiter turning retrograde should I say on November the 7th it's already slowing down to a big extent now but Jupiter changes direction on November the 7th um, and this is in your seventh house the house of partnerships relationships true love unions agreements a greater time to bring things together or to bring a situation together at that particular point in time so you know what you could be looking at your relationships and how you stand within that partnerships maybe you've got to relook at a relationship Capricorn and if Jupiter's stationary maybe you're relooking at it rethinking it having a look and then maybe taking it back forward again next March February March time Neptune turns direct on November the 13th the, tr the transform of Neptune to your third house will increase your sensitivity and bring a lot of new sort of um, ideas to you as well at this point because Neptune is about your imagination, your spiritual side, the arts, yoga, meditation, creativity so you'll be looking at a part of you or be looking into a deeper side of yourselves um, you know it could be about you being more productive um, looking at your intuitive side looking at the practical side of life but you know I really feel at the end of the day Capricorns that November again is going to shake your world up in some form in some way digging deep Neptune is the sea god or the, the god is the god of the sea it rules your deep emotions but you're in Scorpio so Scorpio is saying who has the excuse me who has the power over you who manipulates you so are you going to be digging deep inside your heart and soul Capricorns to have a look about what you want and where you go and maybe where you can get the power back in some way in your life so you know I wish you a wonderful Cosmo November Capricorns and as I've done on the previous videos as I promised a few people I'm talking to an ast astrology base and for some of you it's a bit boring and you like to see cards so I'm um, then going to do a little bit of a mini um, spread of cards for the month of November so that I'll put them up on the screen so that people can see then a little bit something more visual in their life as to what's coming on so the first cards could be about your work situations and your life situations and um, the page of Pentacles has come up Pentacles if I can put it at the screen so you can see Pentacles can be new growth new money uh, the pentacle in the corner is about you holding on to money 
um, the younger person can mean you are making money via a younger person in your life or a younger person has something to do with making money it can also represent a new work project um, Capricorns are quite young minded people so it can mean that you are drawn towards young minded people certainly at the end of the day remember it's connected towards spiritual arts and things so maybe music arts and crafts in some way um, media marketing but a young person seems to come in and be connected to your working financial life but this is about you earning or making extra money right we look at your emotional side always a scary thing for Capricorns they don't really like um, being quite open with your emotions but we'll see what I get through for the emotional side which I kind of take that card to be coming up towards the middle of the month for you the seven of cups now that's always an interesting cups are emotions for those who don't know the tarot this is about someone sitting on a dragon at the end of a rainbow cups or the seven of cups is linked towards past or past behaviors it can mean a past love or you're thinking about the past but capricorns are quite nostalgic people at the end of the day so it just depend uh, to what degree but this is a card of choices and I did say it was about your emotions so your emotions will be looking at choices in your life at the moment in any area choices in business choices in relationships which house do I buy where do I go so you know emotionally you're going to be doing a lot of thinking or soul searches about your choices in November communications again Capricorns whether you're a male or a female who you wanting to communicate with what are you being shown or driven towards within the month of November when it comes towards communications <coughs> the strength card <coughs> excuse me is the sign of the Leo but the strength card also it indicates you have in the strength this is about you maybe feeling a lot stronger in what you want to communicate to somebody um, I certainly think that November remember is a game changer so what it is going to be showing you is that literally you're going to have the strength to tackle any form of communication any talks any agreements anything that you don't want to tackle and avoid Capricorn sometimes can avoid things or step away from things but this card is showing that you're going to have the strength to be able to communicate whoever you've got that conversation with emotionally or communication business wise or family you're going to have the strength to take that around mid month right any challenges that you have coming up I always get itchy nose I'm sorry when I work for some reason my nose seems to really itch <laughs> right let's have a look for Capricorn what are the challenges that you may have coming up or how are you going to deal with them right the ten of swords so that could be something that's ended around you or you've got a challenge in or, or something that is challenging you challenging you to the extent that you feel very hurt by by how you're having to deal with this it's not always a negative card but it's telling you that obviously what you've got to speak about or deal with can mean a past love or past situation or, or some hurt it's about facing your fears also in the Scorpio realm is about facing past fears and past situations in your life so as much as that's a card that I don't like to see come up it's still saying to me um, that your challenges may well be difficult but I, I still feel here Capricorn that it is about you changing in some way for the better and let's see what the overall view comes through for you around um, November I'm doing um, another card that will say wh what or how will you perceive that month or enjoy that month so again you've got the ace of pentacles again you, you started off with a page the aces everything look at, at that being held in the middle um, when this is held in the middle aces are a good or new opportunity that is going to bind together something solid that will make you money financially so Capricorns will be working extremely hard and whatever you're bounding together is um, something new something that I think that over the next say eight weeks is perhaps that it's going to take off financially in a big way it's all about money my feeling is for Capricorns it's about money so if you met somebody in May for a venture and thought about it and didn't take it something could be coming back in from earlier this year or starting up a new business of some sort so I hope that's helped Capricorn wishing you a wonderful month of November I hope that party season or getting into the party season uh, treats you well 
Um, take care and thank you for watching the video and join me next week for a weekly overview or the monthly scopes in December. Good luck and bye bye for now.